Welcome back everyone to Just Because. I'm Tarl Booth. We're here again today with Larry Weber, fellow friend or fellow beekeeper and a good friend. We got Jim Retallick here again from the Utah Beekeepers Association and Ashlyn behind the phone or the the camera. Yeah, We're gonna pull you. our graft bar out of here that they've been polishing give them just a foundation frame then we're going to jump into this box right here and get a frame to graph from so stick around Busy on it. Jim, do you want to just hang on to that? Sure. Knock them off there if you want. Okay. I've already started to close. Ashlyn, did you get a picture down in there? I can't even see the bottom is so yeah. full of, of bees. Oh, you know what, real quick, we are going to look in here. I just want to see what their uh, status is in terms of hatching brood. If I need to add another frame or not. I think it's plenty of bees. It's soon. <laughs> Loads of bees on there. It's loaded with bees here, so where's our frame at? Nice. Oh, I put it right here. We might give it another frame after this next round of graphs. Let's just see. The whole bottom's clear full. All right. Close them up here. Let's see. Let's see if we can find a. Just had one crawl up my shirt and sting me. <laughs> That's what happens there. when you wear long sleeves. Yep, she's still in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Come around this way, maybe. We pulled, we created our starter from this colony here. Um, so when we're actually done, this colony will actually go right back in the place of that little cell starter. Probably get into the bottom. I really like to graft from uh, frames that have this black foundation on them that's loaded with brand new eggs because it's so easy to see down in the cells yeah we're gonna go into the bottom
This one looks really good. Let's look at the next one real quick, just to make sure. Yeah. All right, we're gonna grab this third frame right here and we'll meet you at the Suburban. Stick around. All right, well, we decided to move this into Larry's house instead of into the Suburban, so Take this up one more. Yeah. Like I said before in a previous video, you just want to come in from the back side of the little C shape, grab it. And it'll just slide right onto your tool. But not always. And if that happens, just move on to the next one. Don't. Don't keep going after it. We are doing this on that black foundation and one of the reasons I like the black foundation so much is uh, with foundationless you can poke right through the bottom of the cell into the other side of the frame and while it's not a big deal it just I like to have this, uh, oh, there we go. I like to have my grafting tool with just a slight bend to it so that it'll slide kind of around the contour. There we go. Okay, you see that there? I don't know if you can get a good shot of that. But... Tiny. And we just take it and plunge it right off into the center of the cell on the cell bar. For more videos that provide you with a simplified practical approach to beekeeping, be sure to click that subscribe button and ring the bell notification icon so you won't miss a thing. Piece of 
here. We don't want that in there. in the bottom of the cell. This is a long, tedious process, so... size of them there, Jim? Yeah. <clears throat> the size of a half a grain of rice. Yeah, I read that. that. Tiny, even smaller than that. Yeah. yeah. Some of them, if you come over here and look down in there, if you can see down in there, very good. Some of them are really, really, just recently. That might be a good picture. You can see pretty good. Can you Always make sure I have plenty of grafting tools on hand when I start to graft because some just work better on one day than another for some reason. I'm anxious to give uh, my other tools that I have. I did a video this morning that will go up before this one does showing all the grafting tools and equipment oh, that I use. And I have a couple of tools that I bought last fall that I'm anxious to give a try this year um, I'll probably need to use some royal jelly with them because the nice thing about these Chinese ones is they tend to pick up quite a little bit of royal jelly with the with the larva and the others I'm not sure if they will they might I, I've just never used them before so you do grafting no we well, just talked about it we're gonna yeah. teach her how to graft while we're doing this, and I don't want to put you on the spot, uh, but since this is so slow and tedious, do you have anything that you're trying to get done through the Beekeeper Association this year? We focus on the annual convention. Yeah. And it was last year in October, I contacted the president at that time and said, you know, I'd really like to see if we could get Melda to Cohen. I mean, do you have all your slots filled up? He says, well, as a matter of fact, we don't have any of them filled up. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so I contacted Mel and got him uh, to agree to him, so I ended up being the liaison for Mel. Uh-huh. Yeah, which I didn't mind. Sure. And so uh, Catherine DeVitt, Katerina DeVitt, uh, I've seen a lot of her comments. She seemed to be have good scientific background and basis. Yeah. And uh, she was from Klamath, Oregon. And so they That's got cool. her to come in. And she did. Did she do a presentation on taking care of wasps? 
Oh yeah, I have that presentation. That is really good. And then one on bananas. She did her her master's paper on the banana. And and she's she is now uh, she's developed hives so she can use them to test her her theories. What what does banana have to do with bees? Um, apparently all the the the. Uh, Increases brood production and everything. If you put a, a somewhat somewhat rotten banana in there, the bees will use the. So it's that uh, chemical in them must be that makes yeah. them rot. Yeah. Huh. Stuck that on the side of the darn it. That's a beekeeper mistake there. I didn't see where my reed was and I stuck it on the outside of the sail. You're old. Well, yeah. They keep telling me I'm old and fat. Only a cake calls you fat. Yeah, one of the twins. What what is interesting is when they start offering you senior discounts before you're senior. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. As soon as he started offering it to me, I took it. Oh, heck yeah. Why, why not? Might as well, right? All right, looks like we have six more to go and we're done. All right, this is the last one. Cool. They're all on the cell bar. So we'll go put this frame back in its original colony and put this one in the cell builder and we'll be done. Thanks for watching Just Because. Sorry I didn't do a whole lot of talking in this one, but uh, we, we got another round ready to go for the next swarm we catch. We'll be ahead of the game this time. Plus we have a bunch of splits to do. So. Stay tuned, thanks again. Hey, if you want to receive future notifications of videos that can help you take a more simplified, practical approach to beekeeping, consider clicking that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing.